Hey, today I'm going to talk to you about a paper we published in 2013. At that time, I had been doing a nipple reduction technique, which was a novel new technique. This is where it was published, the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. It's the number one journal in the world for aesthetic surgery. Um, we had 30 consecutive patients during a three-year period in which we did my technique for nipple reduction. My technique uh, heals in about one week. There is no scar visible once it's healed, and most importantly, it's one of the only techniques that leaves the ducts all open, so it's, it's natural, it's holistic. I think it's healthier for the breast gland uh, so that things are more natural and, and everything can drain adequately. What's really interesting is that in our study, and since then, we've had numerous women have nipple reduction and go on to breastfeed, so the ducts are all open. Men and women come in for this, uh, it takes about 15, 10 to 15 minutes. We can do it under local anesthesia. We can reduce the nipple both in its length and we can reduce it in its width. Mostly people come in for the length. The, the nipple is just too long in guys. It's chafing. It shows in their clothes. Women, uh, same thing, chafing, and it shows a bit too much too often. And this is for nipples that are always erect and always just too long. Uh, so it's a very easy technique and an easy procedure to do. Uh, I do combine it with breast augmentation uh, techniques or breast reduction or breast lifts and it uh, literally takes just a few minutes per side and heals uh, within week, a week and uh, almost no discomfort, just Tylenol afterwards is, uh, is all you need. Um, actually we have an instrument uh, now that's uh, being used worldwide as well called the nipple, uh, Molliver nipple holding forceps. So that's it for now. Uh, you can find my article online. The name of the article is Treatment of Nipple Hypertrophy by a Simplified Reduction Technique. See you next time.